Driving classic cars comes with some weirdness and discomfort. Things leak, surprises abound, and they can even let you down. Over time, you start to expect the unexpected. This story is about one of those times. Hey, uh, just leaving the shop now. Uh, just letting you know that I got the studded snow tires on and I got the air filter all made, so it should be ready to go for tomorrow. I'll see you then. Three. Oh, this one's charged. charged. Breakfast? Yeah, I Any for you. me? Oh. Check your text messages. Uh, I texted you like 40 minutes ago. Really? And then it was funny because I was pulling out of McDonald's and I saw you. I'm like, oh, well. <laughs> Step one of a good adventure, start early. Step two, assemble a crew. This is Marco. You should know him by now. On the right is Jonathan, a talented photographer and writer. And in the Cayenne, that's Peter. He does really cool Porsche stuff. Step three of a good adventure? We're still figuring that out. position where it doesn't twist anymore so you could use it. <laughs> you shouldn't do that. <laughs> okay, I need uh Yeah, at least look at it like Can I just pull it out? I just need a 916. Yeah. Oh, I think that the locating pin on the shifter broke because I can rotate it like this way. So we're taking it apart. Let's see. Yeah, yeah. There's metal shavings. Yeah. Right there. <laughs> See, that's the pin there. Yeah. Punch it in. Yeah, punch it in a bit. And clean that out. It should be fine. You're shifting too hard. I think it's. I think it's the getting in yeah. reverse. It looks pretty. Shoot. Do we have a hammering uh, device? Like a hammer. Hammer? Ideally. I wish. Okay. Key is to always have the correct tool for the job. Makes me so happy. <laughs> Are we witnessing the world's greatest fix with Kleenex and a ratchet? Yeah, not even a proper hammer. <sighs> Gross. Oh, okay. Mm. Yeah, like, Molly, dude.
maybe to our fuel line or something. All right. Yeah. Uh, ready? Yeah. No spark. No spark. Can we check, check off the coil? So this should have power. So if I go here, this light should come on. Yeah, that's got power. <laughs> and then if I ground this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's sparking. sparking, yep. So that means that it's not. The distributor. <laughs> Maybe this, some this moisture got in, some snow. Maybe it pulls a cap. Yeah. We have deduced that the coil has power. We have coil no spark. Power. There's no spark. No if sp uh, if we ground the coil to the body, it sparks. So that means the distributor nighter in the distributors. Not firing. Can you try yelling at it? Yeah, try that. Tap that ass. <laughs> Master <laughs> mechanic over here. Have you tried hitting it yet? So why do you know that it's not the coil? Because it was sparking. Because uh, it was sparking. Oh, so when you have ground. Because that's the, how the coil works, right? There's power yeah. feeding into it with ignition on, mm -hmm. and then when you ground it, the circuit's connected and it releases. Uh, when you release it, it, it sparks. So it's that darn Petronics unit. Yeah. So funny because Mark yesterday was talking about how they're not good. Perhaps some no. Vaseline on it. Nice. Actually, no, some MG stuff. Yeah, maybe. But I don't, because this distributor is uh, like from Petronics. So it's electronic only. Um, I just want to see if it sparks again. Yeah, first get it over. Yeah, can you, can you, uh, sure can. I was just, it's, it's so bumpy back there He's because the like, cage. I don't know, the shocks are not so great. Yeah. So all I'm concentrating on is like holding the camera and the tripod against the foam of the roll bar to stop it from shaking everywhere, which it is constantly. Yeah. So I'm not looking where we're going and all of a sudden I feel just boom, boom, boom. <laughs> <laughs> so Yeah, it's uh, a little scary. I thought we were just going to get stuck in the snow. Yeah. About this. Who's cleaning this up? Why is there a car in the middle of the road? Well, why don't we just use the tow strap and you just use the module the brakes and uh, we can tow you behind the truck yeah, to the at sure. least to the like entrance like close to the freeway. Sure. Then what's, it's nicer to the work on. You see it? No, I don't have. That, I've I don't got PCA for that amount of towing. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can always do that. Doesn't matter to me. I mean, I have. I we could always leave it too and come back another day. Like I don't know. Like, a, or later today. I have a distributor. It's just a ways. DCA would be like. If it's way if you have, if you have the distance. And cheaper. Why don't you call the code. gas? See if, see if by chance they have a distributor. Yeah. Buy it. Use it. And return it. Yeah. Yeah. Or even uh, the Protronics like module. Call them. Yeah. There's one here in Wilson. for a tow truck now we have it parked up the front we had to tow it backwards because I only have a rear mount for the uh, the tow hook so uh, so I did like a mile of reversing my neck has a crazy kink in it but it's at the entrance to the highway now so I think we're gonna go for lunch and uh, wait for the tow truck I'm 
gonna, something, gonna throw this metal. This is always what I do. I get something in my eye, and I'm like, oh, I should put on <laughs> protective gear. Okay, ready? Okay. 